My name is Ayla Mansman. I live in Cape Elizabeth, Maine in the US. When I was in eighth grade, that's when the Parkland shooting happened. Um, and, you know, I knew gun violence was a problem. I lived in Maine. I had lived in a bunch of other places before. Um, and I knew that gun violence was a problem all over the country. Uh, but it wasn't until eighth grade that I had remembered a memory of it sitting in my second grade classroom and having a moment of silence for the children that died in Sandy Hook. And not really understanding what was going on, but it was when I was in eighth grade that I put it all together that children were dying uh, from senseless acts of gun violence that are preventable. And I took it upon myself to walk down to the school administration's office and say, I'm doing a walkout. I don't care if you support me, I will be walking out. Any, I'm going to encourage others. I'm going to organize this whole thing. I'm not asking for permission. I'm just letting you know. That kind of started me off on this couple year journey. I've, and even now, uh, lobbying for bills, uh, fighting gun violence in the state of Maine, uh, working with March for Our Lives. I oversaw, uh, I was the Maine state director and oversaw all Maine campaigns and activities regard, uh, regarding gun violence prevention and I learned a lot I learned a lot about the movement I learned a lot of statistics yeah I, I am really really grateful to be a part of this movement and to be able to contribute however I can for a greater cause you know being an activist you know, I don't think activists go into the work uh, looking for a reward there isn't this day-to-day you know, I, you know, it's not often that you get a pat on the back, um, that it feels fulfilling. Um, and at the end of the day, this isn't my job. It, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't have to be my job to make sure that my friends aren't dying at school. It shouldn't, I shouldn't have to be here doing this interview. I shouldn't have to be lobbying in the state house. Shouldn't have to be missing class for that that is really unfair and I think if people are looking to be an activist and they're looking for that like purpose they're looking to have that like call to come and be a part of something larger than themselves you know my encouraging words are going to be it is hard and it sucks and there is very few days that you win but the days that you win you know that you are saving lives you don't need a medical degree to save lives um, do you believe the public got used to gun violence in the u.s yes yeah i mean a hundred percent yes there's this quote somewhere and i i wish i had it on me right now um but it was the day i i'm gonna paraphrase it says, the day that we decided that, you know, children dying is, you know, uh, you know, guns are more important than children's lives or anyone's lives, that was the day that, you know, th that, you know, then, then what? That's, you know, what do you do at that point? When, how, how many second graders died in Sandy Hook? And very little happened. On a national level, practically nothing happened. So it was the day that they decided that gun rights were more important than children's lives, that we were doomed. I would say that grassroots activists are the center of all movements. Um, it shouldn't necessarily have to be. Politicians should be elected and do their jobs, fulfill the things that they agree and claim they're going to do. Um, but grassroots activists, the energy, the anger, the passion of grassroots activists keep these movements going, keep these movements alive. Humanium metal is known as the most precious metal in the world as it saves human lives. Humanium metal believes zero number of deaths is the only number acceptable. However, this goal can only be achieved if people get behind this. Do you believe the U.S. is ready for it? I believe the U.S. doesn't have a choice. <laughs> people are dying. It doesn't matter 
who in the U.S. doesn't believe that, you know, melting illegal guns, who thinks melting illegal guns is a bad thing, you know? Um, the people that think that are the people that think that school shootings happen, and that's it. Um, so, yeah, what, ready or not, we're here. We dare to dream of a violence-free America. What are your hopes for the future? That people aren't dying every single day from gun violence. That the senseless acts are generally viewed as senseless. And that politicians and young people and activists and all people can stand behind this general mission that you don't have that you don't have to die and you don't have to be scared of dying because someone has a gun